Hi there and welcome back. So we reviewed the adrenal glands and some of the disorders of adrenal gland. One more frequently seen disorder of adrenal gland is Edison's disease. And what happens here is, simply speaking, it is the hypo or the underproduce corticosteroids or the simply speaking hormones. Under production of the hormones by the adrenal glands can lead to one of the frequently seen disease called Addison's disease. Okay, and we talked about cortex, medulla, they release different hormones. We reviewed that, so I'm not going to repeat that. Um, but fundamentally speaking, we are talking about under productive hormone that leads to the Addison's disease. Okay. And other causes of adrenal cortex failure could be adrenal hemorrhage, adrenal tumor, some other infection or disease, uh, maybe something that goes right from the top in the pituitary gland uh, associated with decreased ACTH production. Adrenal failure may also result when oral steroids are withdrawn too quickly from a chronic user of these steroids. So you have a chronic condition and you are thinking that oh it's all over and you withdraw all those steroids that you have been taking prematurely that may lead to unfortunately Edison's disease or the adrenal failure. So what can be done? The proper dosage to replace the hormones to compensate for the underproduce can improve the life expectancy and can be restored to a normal duration. So I found this one and it covers many details. So what is Edison's disease? Right? When the, the organ does not or the brain does not produce enough hormones. Period. And it can lead to fatigue weight loss, decreased appetite, low blood pressure, salt craving. Remember the cortex and medulla, they release what? That's, that's the correlation here. That's why you have the salt craving, low blood sugar, body hair loss, nausea, vomiting. These are the comorbid conditions that we just reviewed. And uh, statistically speaking, there are some data out there, it says that 1 in 100,000 and mostly seen in the age group of 30 to 50 and there is no discrimination whether you are male or female. And of course, the doctors will do the measurement of your hormone levels blood urine to arrive at the diagnose. And it can lead to adrenal failure, infection, sudden death. That's possible. Okay. So let's move on. So we reviewed in the previous video about the Cushing syndrome and this one is uh, Edison's disease. So where lies the difference? The difference is right there. Hypo or hyper, underproduction or overproduction, everything in moderation. That is what the central idea of homeostasis is all about, right? So when you have uh, Cushing's syndrome, it can lead to all these things. And when you have Edison's disease, it can lead to all these things. Because one is hyper and one is hypo. One is overactive, one is underactive. And as a result, there is deficiency or as a result, there is surplus of the hormone more than or less than what our body needs. So another way we can say that uh,
adrenal cortex hypersecretion leads to adrenal virilism Cushing syndrome adrenal cortex hypersecretion leads to Erickson's disease adrenal medulla hypersecretion leads to one um, kind of tumor called as pheochromocytoma pheochromocytoma is a tumor of medulla not the cortex the medulla and uh, that tumor produces excess secretion of epinephrine and norepinephrine and it makes sense right we review the medulla releases those two hormones so what are the symptoms of this unique tumor it could mean hypertension palpitation severe headache sweating you name it surgery to remove the tumor and or uh, medications are the possible treatments here okay and i like this one because i understand that when we don't have the medical background it is difficult to digest but see the word is broken down pheochromocytoma dark color cell tumor rare adrenal gland tumor nice portrait of the anatomy and the physiology and this again retracts what we already reviewed but i really like the way it has been summarized so i thought let me say with all of you and this pertains to this unique tumor okay so cushing's versus addison's overproduction versus underproduction homeostasis is the key as happens in the body that can be said about our uh, business that we do the insurance industry that we work in uh, field partners underwriters and customers we have to have a team work we have to have open honest upfront and timely communication that leads to better working relationship and that equates to homeostasis we all are doing it let's continue to do it see you soon take care bye bye